Hello everyone, welcome all. In this video, we are going to discuss about extrusion reactions. What are extrusion reactions? For example, we are taking a molecule like this X, Y, and Z. This is a molecule. If it is undergo extrusion reaction, an atom or a group from this molecule like Y here, this may be an atom or a group. It undergo, uh, it, it eliminates, this group eliminates and form the product like this X Z. This group eliminates from this molecule and form a new bond between this X and Z and this type of reaction is called extrusion reactions. These reactions may take place by heat, in the action of heat called pyrolysis or by the action of light called photolysis photolysis etc okay some catalyst may need in some reactions anyway these type of reactions in which an atom or a group attached to two other atoms is el uh, eliminated and from this type of product is called extrusion reactions the common groups which undergo extrusion reactions are co2 carbon monoxide CO group that may be uh, N2 nitrogen and SO2 these are the common molecules which undergo extrusion next we are going to discuss about the extrusion reactions reactions of carbon dioxide carbon monoxide nitrogen sulfur dioxide etc in detail first we take the extrusion of N2 first we are going to discuss about the extrusion of nitrogen for that we are taking one example this is the example here nitrogen nitrogen okay this is one pyrazoline this compound is an action with the heat or light which undergo uh, extrusion reactions and form the product like this this nitrogen molecule extruded this nitrogen molecule extruded from here and form this cyclopropane plus N2 nitrogen as the byproduct and this is one pyrazoline and another example this is two pyrazoline it also undergo heat or uh, an action with heat or uh, light it also gives the same product plus N2 nitrogen is extruded by pyrolysis or by photolysis and gives the product this is another example for nitrogen extrusion and here one thing one important thing is here is a acidic or basic catalyst is required in this compound to undergo this extrusion reaction a catalyst it may be acidic or a basic catalyst is re required because this molecule is stable this two pyrozoline is stable than this one this catalyst basic or acidic catalyst convert this two pyrozoline into one pyrozoline and it undergo this uh, extrusion reaction that actually happens in this reaction another example for nit nitrogen extrusion is be like this this is nitrogen nitrogen this is a r triazoline this on action with the heat or light pyrolysis or photolysis gives a product like this this nitrogen this N2 from here and N2 is eliminates and forms a product like this N R this one it is called aziridine it is aziridine uh, and plus N2 this will be the product form formed here another example This is 3H pyrazole. It is by photolysis, it gives an extrusion product like this. Here, also nitrogen is eliminated, 
and form this cyclopropene as the product but here it is this this compound this 3h pyrazole is stable to heat okay this is stable to heat so say stable to heat so it does not undergo extrusion reaction by the action of heat it requires uh, light for the reactions to take place next we are going to discuss about the mechanism of this extrusion of nitrogen for that we are taking one pyrazole okay one pyrazole this will be the compound and when in the action of heat or light it eliminates the nitrogen minus n2 and form a di radical like this the di radical is like this okay so here this bond cleaves homolytically and this bond cleaves homolytically and this the forms a triple bond between this nitrogen and nit uh, nitrogen atoms and this eliminated as n2 and this radical is a di radical say di radical involves in this reaction and in the next step it cyclizes and form the product like cyclopropane this will be the mechanism of this extrusion of nitrogen next 3h pyrazole this is the compound 3h pyrazole is on action with the light undergo photolysis and in the first step this forms a diazo compound this mechanism involves a diazo compound like this here this bond breaks this bond breaks and this carbon this is the carbon double bond forms here this double bond forms here and carbon then single bond carbon this is the single uh, this bond becomes single bond and to this one this nitrogen attached this nitrogen attached here so this is a diazo compound diazo compound so a diazo compound is formed in the next tube it eliminates nitrogen and form this compound carbon bond c carbon this is this compound forms a carbene okay this is a carbene a vinylic carbene is formed a vinylic carbene is formed in the next tube it cyclizes and gives the product a cyclopropene so this is the mechanism involved in the uh, extrusion reactions of 3h pyrazoles next extrusion of carbon monoxide for example this is a cyclobutanone it's a cyclobutanone on reaction with the light it eliminates carbon monoxide co and forms product like this o b z o b z this is the one of the example for extrusion reactions of co okay this is an another example for extrusion reaction of carbon monoxide co here this compound undergo extrusion reaction by eliminating this carbon monoxide and form this product this is tetra tertiary butyl tetrahedrane for the synthesis of this tetra tertiary butyl tetrahedrane this compound undergo an extrusion reaction and forms this product by extrusion of co the mechanism of this reaction generally involves a neorish type 1 mechanism the first tube if this will be the compound a neorish type 1 cleavage occurs and in the first tube it forms co radical and here c radical in the next tube minus co this co eliminates and form c c radicals next tube cyclization occurs and form the product like this c c this will be the mechanism is nourish type 1 mechanism or nourish type 1 cleavage and forms the product cyclization occurs like this here the loss of co occurs and recombination of these radicals is a di radical occurs and the cyclization occurs here next 
the extrusion of CO2. CO2 extrusion on the number of the here is a lacton. This lacton undergoes CO2 minus CO2, CO2 elimination from here and from this compound. So, this is an example for CO2 extrusion. Another example for CO2 extrusion is R C O O O C O R dash. This is a diacyl peroxide. Diacyl peroxide. Okay. It undergo uh, extrusion reactions. That means two CO2 molecules extruded and forms the product like this R R dash. Okay. That means from here a CO2 and CO2, two CO2 molecule extruded. This is another example for CO2 extrusion. So here we are discussing about the extrusion reactions, extrusion of nitrogen into CO and CO2 with some examples and mechanism. So we are going to wind up this video. Thank you.